Everybody's doing something, and that's why they call this tethered. Hey guys, what's going on? Chris here as always with Shughead Gaming. Today I am playing Tethered. It's currently on sale in the North American store. Figured I'd revisit this gem, guys. It's very moss-like. It's a beautiful game. It's got the music and the visuals and you're kind of invested in these cute little creatures. As you can see, I'm taking my hands. You can manipulate the world. You can go in and out. Hop from cloud to cloud if you want different viewpoints. So I better get to business here. The uh, in a nutshell, point of this game is to keep your peeps happy and busy and uh, grow them. <laughs> they have eggs. Keep them, uh, keep them coming. Keep them flourishing. Fill up your stocks. Uh, defend your land. Grow the green land as you go along. Uh, mine your resources. Uh, make your defenses, you know, standard RTS stuff, but it's uh, it's done in a style that's very reminiscent of uh, Lemmings. You're going to have them all doing tasks and all kind of doing things and following each other. So yes, despair. If they don't keep them busy, they will kill themselves. Yep. They will straight up commit suicide. They will go to a ledge, they'll look at you with sad eyes, and they'll jump. So it'll be devastating to you if you let them die. So I'm going to have this guy go sit on that. You can do it with sunlight, but it doesn't always work. And if they don't hatch, they go bad, they turn brown and then slugs come out of them. You don't want slugs. It's a day and night cycle. There's different weather. Sometimes you'll use the weather's defense mechanism. Sometimes you'll use it to uh, help your crops grow. All right, boys, what have we got? What's our food stores like? Hmm, we're okay for food, so let's go have you do something. So if you like RTS guy games, guys, this might be one to keep your eye on. It's super high quality. Probably one of the most polished games that's been on the PS4. Definitely up until Moss. You're going to hear me mention that because it's definitely uh, reminding me of uh, maybe almost what the creators of Moss might have looked at as a inspiration for what they wanted to do in VR. Healing the land. I got ya. There we go. You need to go get red. Go learn stuff, be smart. So books will uh, pop up as you uh, progress through the level, so you can learn certain things. And then I'll be able to put better buildings out here. Like now I can put a field up, so you can go and do that. Can I do that? No. Where the hell is the forest in this place? It doesn't look like much of a forest. I think that's a forest. There we go. You, forest. Oh no. We've got... You're on egg duty, buddy. So are you. And as the uh, land develops further, you'll get other resources for this, because you will, like, mine out areas and deforest areas. you got to keep them... You can put water and sun on the forest, grow it, grow your crops over here for food. So you got to keep it fed. Okay, good. You're doing your things. And uh, you'll uh, you'll upgrade your resource areas too, like with uh, quarries and mines. Gotcha. You do that. You do that. You do. I don't even know if you can. Can we do that yet? No. We. Have, you can see your resources on the top here. Here's the things you can build. You go into details. It'll tell you each thing you build. You can upgrade. So you got your defense stuff. Eventually, you'll start to make uh, barracks, and you'll be able to classify guys as warriors because at nighttime when night falls the bad guys come out these uh, creatures and they'll you have to defend themselves they mostly come out at night mostly for those of you who are aliens fans you got that for those of you who aren't I just came off like a total dork 
I got a feeling if you got a PSVR, you've seen aliens. This is, uh, you know, also for you, uh, if you're a fan of the Sim games. This could also appeal. I think my wife would love this game. This is uh, the first level, and so, as you can probably tell, but uh, things do get more hectic as the levels grow. Uh, they become way less forgiving, and you'll start to really have to work to uh, stay alive. That's the biggest thing, is things will want to attack you. It's, uh, everything just takes more effort. You get right down with these guys. You can see how amazing these graphics are. Like what? That is amazing, guys. And the sound gets louder, too. You almost drank that. What do we need here? Let's get ourselves a quarry man. Everybody busy. You there too, and minor. That's it. Now do that. Do that thing you do. Tracking on the move controllers is spot on. DS4 was great too, but with the move controllers, you just have so much more control. Being able to. Uh, use both hands to pull and zoom in and direct to get these guys where you want them to go. Graphics are fantastic. They look great in the headset. They're bright and crisp. Very, very crisp, actually. Yeah, I know you're not a soldier, but you just, you do that. This is on sale right now in the North American PlayStation Store. It's a wonderful game, especially if you're uh, into RTS and God Mode type games. It's uh, definitely one of the uh, better games on the PlayStation Store that n always gets overlooked. This is Tethered, guys. And if you're looking for something to scratch that moss itch, this world just might be it. <laughs> 